Welcome back. This is another unboxing video. This one is from Future Electronics. Sweet. So I want to bust this sucker open. This is what it looks like. Shipped from the retailer. They've got some no packing peanuts in this one. They opted for the Air Plus bags. So this order is um, all capacitors. So instead of ordering cap kits, I decided to, since I have a lot of monitors and a lot of game boards, and uh, I've got friends who need uh, televisions fixed, uh, since I've gotten into this, I realized this isn't really that hard. <laughs> uh, the hardest part is finding places to buy things and finding things at the right price, uh, finding quality items at the at a, at a good price. It's really it's really hard to do that. Um, so this specific order was for a allotment of axial capacitors as well as radial capacitors. Uh, try to get them at a low price point, around like 10 cents per capacitor. These capacitors are the high end, what you would say was a more of a high end capacitor, or I guess you would say it is not a cheap Chinese or Taiwanese or low end capacitor. Um, this, these, these should last for quite some time. Uh, one of the biggest concerns, depending on where you order capacitors from, uh, would be the date code. Uh, so in this particular package here, you can see they actually got them marked. Well, they marked their date codes uh, onto their own labels as they uh, prepackage their minimum order quantities. So the date code of 1530, so that's 2015, um, is what that is. And it's going to be another month uh, afterward. So. Anyways, this is a, so these are all, I ordered bare minimum quantity from, uh, so Future Electronics, let, let me talk about them a little bit. Um, they seem to order, they seem to have quite a bit of a, at least a decent selection of different types of electronic components. The downside it was, is with Future is um, they sell to people who buy a lot of stuff. <laughs> so a lot of times their minimum order quantities are just out of the range of a, a hobbyist or a consumer so you may find something you want from them you go look at it and you got to order 2,000 units it's just not happening so luckily they did have some selections of these capacitors at reasonable quantities like 25 um, here's one at 39 some of them they got a little bit higher uh, they get up to like 75 but that's okay I, I, I'm I'm gonna use these capacitors up fairly quickly. I don't see these sitting around for years on the shelf. I've got like you know 12 games I have to work on, so um, they'll they'll go pretty quick. I plan on actually putting these, recapping like the game board PCBs, monitors, power supplies, everything because I want my games. I, I want to get done with them. I want to work on them, fix them, uh, get them put in where they want it, where I want them to be, and I don't want to have to uh, deal with them too much more. Uh, so I figure. One of the best things to invest in at this point in time is going to be the electrolytics. So I'll buy these in uh, high quantities, use them up, and uh, basically get a good deal out of it at the same time. So rather than paying 50 cents or 75 cents per electrolytic, I'm paying down to like 10 cents, 7 cents per uh, capacitor that is purchased essentially. So anyways, uh, <clears throat> so you know the packaging is good. Um, shipping was fairly quick. It wasn't, you know... I mean, I didn't have to wait a long time. Um, they, they shipped out of the U.S. I believe this came from Missouri. I live in uh, Oklahoma, so not that far for it to ship. So it got here pretty quick. Uh, they give you a good packing slip here. Uh, seems to go over everything that I had in my order. So I can verify that against my sales order for my invoice. So that's good. So it's got the complete packing list in there. It's not staples or anything. It's all just it's like it came out of a laser printer. Um, but these are really nicely packaged. Each one of these are in anti-static bags, and then inside the anti-static bags is the anti-static bubble wrap. It's the pink bubble wrap. So the pink bubble wrap, I guess, and maybe even this. Is this uh, <clears throat> anything that's pink is anti-static? Maybe I'm not sure. I, I don't think maybe this applies, but <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure uh, particularly the bubble wrap that is the pink color. Is supposed to be anti-static. So I did peek at one of these, <laughs> and I opened up that was the oldest date code. So this is the one pack that I got. It's a little bit older than the rest. This one was marked 1425. So 
these are a little bit older. However, I tested the capacitance of them and they were certainly within spec. They were really close to actually their marked values, which is really good for capacitors because typically they have like a 20% tolerance. As far as uh, what their capacitance rating may uh, come out to be, so they'll operate within a, a wide range of values. But these come out to uh, be operating close within their uh, rated spec. Um, they came out to be like, uh, these are 22 microfarad capacitors and they'd read out to be 21.5, 21.9, so really darn close. So here's these, uh, I don't know how to say their name, like Nikion. Um, let's see. Nichicon? Nichicon? I don't know. I'll have to look that up. <laughs> it's always weird names. Anyways, uh, so I got a lot of axial caps, so a lot of the uh, board components on Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., All my Nintendo boards and use axial, a lot of axial capacitors. So, so that's why I got these. Um, so lots, lots of uh, axial caps in here. Uh, as you can see, there's quite a few in the bag. So they're all just kind of loosely in there. Let's open up another bag. Let's take a look at uh, one of these bigger quantities, I guess. And we'll look at a big quantity, and we can look at a small quantity. So here's a small one. Actually, I want to look at one that's a radial and one that's not. <clears throat> so the VXs, those are radial, so that's radial. Those are radial, or I'm sorry, axial. VX is axial. Um, UPW, so here's some radials, some really big ones. This is pretty heavy. This is a heavy bag right here. So we just looked at a radial, so let's look at a, I'm sorry, we just looked at, <laughs> I'm getting it mixed up. We just looked at an axial. Let's look at a radial cap. So I'm going to just make a small incision <laughs> across the uh, label here. Being careful not to cut the actual bag itself. Open up the bag. Oh yeah. Suckers are serious. Oh, there's just a lot in here. Yeah. <laughs> How many was this? 75? Shoot, yeah. Alright, so here we go. Some uh, 330. Microfarad 50 volt capacitors. These look really nice. And uh, what's nice about these capacitors is they actually, I believe, yep, they stamp the date code on them. So you can double check to see hey, what they actually packaged here. You can see the, uh, should be able to see the date code there. It's uh, 1502. And it should match up with on the bag, which is. 1502 so that is excellent so you can see that they they check the date codes of what they're packaging and they mark their packages with the appropriate date codes so lots of 330 50 volt UPW capacitors there these are nice big hefty chunk of them so I've got to get some sort of uh, can't just leave these in bags in boxes so I'm gonna have to get some sort of organization system in place I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet so maybe some buckets or some bins because these are pretty these are pretty big they're gonna take up some space I think the better thing to do is just to get them on the board as quickly as, as quickly as I can so let's look at one more bag of let's see here we got some axial here so let's take a look at these real quick scarred a little bit. These look a lot like the others. Not too much different. Yeah, because these are a uh, little mi one microfarad, looks like. Yeah. More small axial caps. Check the date code on. Shows 1528. And that's what's on the bag too. So everything seems to match up pretty good. They've got some uh, I don't know additional information here. I'm not sure what that's all about. They all look really good. I mean the leads aren't like crushed or anything. 
or bent in awkward shapes, which is okay. I mean, it wouldn't be too bad. It's just I'm just making note that um, everything in here is in pretty darn good shape. So nothing's all tore up or bent up or has been stressed unnecessarily. So these will be good to work with going forward. So yeah, so that's that's future like that's uh, a bunch of capacitors. So that's that's all this is. That's all this order is is capacitors. There isn't uh, anything else in here to really look at. But uh, there's the box. They're all in here. So they're all kind of pretty much just stacked up on top of each other in these little electrostatic bags. So you can see I've got a lot. Of them. <laughs> it's a lot of them in here. Oh my gosh! Look at all these caps. Oh, here's one that's a little different at the very bottom. <clears throat> this is a oh, yeah, there's 200 in here. So I got these extra cheap, probably like pennies. These are some radial caps, yeah, UPW 1H 470s, so 47 microfarad, 50 volts. So they've got just the, the electrostatic sticker on here. Up. And then it's got the whole bag here you can open up. They just. Alright, so they put in another bag inside this bag. There we go. Made in Malaysia, 200 pieces. So it's a thermo sealed bag. You can see there it's just got that thermo seal on it. And there's all the little caps. Just a crap ton of them. So yeah, I mean, think about it. Like if I'm going to cap 12 monitors and I bought each cap kit one at a time, that's like $20 a cap kit, right? So you're talking $200, $240 in cap kits, and you don't have any extra parts to do PCBs or power supplies or anything else that you may need to fix. So um, here's like 100 bucks of capacitors, and I'll be able to fix a bunch of stuff. So <clears throat> I think I'm getting ahead of the game. By uh, buying in bulk, and some you know, it's not. I'm not buying thousands of capacitors here. I'm just buying hundreds of, or you know, 50s or 35 of different quantities. That's one of the weird things, though, about Future Lake. Um, their minimum order quantity on some of these caps, like this one was 100, this one was 25, um, this one was 25, this one was 125. These were 60. And it's not like it's by size of the cap, like the smaller caps you order in larger quantities or the bigger caps you order in smaller quantities. It doesn't really equate to that. So I'm not really sure what the game is here. So like, here's some pretty big caps and these were 75. Um, <clears throat> here's some small caps and they were 25 minimum, minimum order quantity. So I'm not sure how they come up with that. But in the end, uh, it's best just to have a few browser windows open and kind of compare back and forth between Future Lake and maybe another like Mauser or DigiKey. If you're ordering capacitors from those guys, you can kind of get an idea of who's going to be the better deal. Uh, keeping in mind how many of each type of capacitor you will likely be using going forward. I mean, if they're cheap enough, if you get them like just like a couple of pennies, then it doesn't matter if you get 200 of them because you can buy 200 of these guys at such a discount that you know buying 10 from Mauser just won't make any sense you, know, you just go buy the 200 and, and be done with it right so anyways that's future lek uh, no I'm sorry not future lek future how many times did I say future lek I've had future lek stuck in my head because I placed an order with Tata Electronics and people were con comparing Tata I think it's Tata Tata and future lek a lot this is not future lek you cannot get these capacitors from future lek this is future electronics so <laughs> I don't know if I said future lek I don't know it's future electronics not future lek alright so anyways that's it for this unboxing video I've gotta go install some capacitors see you guys